Hi, lovelies. How are you guys doing? Hope you guys are okay, sound and healthy. That's good to know. Welcome back to Annie's Kitchen and Lifestyle. Today we'll be preparing bitari soup. Go for a nubu. Yeah. Hope you can see the face of the soup. It's really souping. Looking yummy, delicious. Enticing and appetizing. Very yummy. Don't worry, sit back. All I need to do is bring your popcorn. As you are watching the steps on how to prepare the bitter soup, be eating your popcorn. Here are my ingredients for preparing the bitter soup. Okay, these are my ingredients. Here I have my dry bitter leaf. Yeah, it's dry because it came all the way from Nigeria, so I have to dry it so it won't get spoiled. Though I will still boil it to wash away every bitterness in it you know by soaking it will stay soften okay yeah so here i have my goat meat you can use any or you can use any other choice of your meat here i have my stock fish and i have my dry fish here as you can see the fish is fishing <laughs> okay here I have my red oil for preparing the soup and I have my pepper, fresh pepper. You can use dry pepper, Cameroon pepper or paprika. Okay, yeah, I like using uh, fresh pepper. And here I have my cube for seasoning. I'm using no for seasoning. And I have my salt. Here I have my crayfish. As you can see, I'm very generous with my crayfish. It's with a leaf that we are preparing here. So I have to be generous with it. And here comes our Ogurisi. These are for Ugoku, the chairman of the occasion. No Ogurisi, no bitter leaf soup. This is the main spice in preparing our bitter leaf. Okay. Yeah, it's called ogurisi. In English, it's called the uh, fermented locust beans. Yeah. So these are the ingredients in preparing this soup. So sit back as we start cooking the soup proper. Here, I've added my meat in the pot. I will spice it with two cubes of maggi. Yeah, I'll be using two cubes to steam the meat first. Yeah, so as you can see, just two more. I'll be using to spice and to steam the meat. I'll be adding my salt. I won't add onion because we're not cooking okra or any other soup. I've added my stockfish and cover. I won't be adding any water to bring out water on its own. Okay. So here, I'll be putting my bitter leaf in the pot to boil and watch, wash it. I don't like uh, the bitterness in the soup while eating. So I will boil the bitter leaf and wash it. Okay. As you can see, I've added my water. The level of the water is okay for boiling the bitter leaf. So here, the bitter leaf is on the stove. As you can see, I will leave it to boil. So it, it will remove all the bitterness in it. So this is 15 minutes. As you can see, the meat has brought that water on its own. I didn't add any water yet. Okay. So that's it. You don't have to add any water. You waste the minute. minutes. To bring that water on its own before you add water for the cooking. So this is 15 minutes. I'll be adding water. So the meat, you add the amount of water you want for the cooking of the soup. You add the amount of your water you want. I will cover and leave it to cook for 30 minutes because the meat is a little bit hard, so it should cook. Here, the bitter leaf is boiling already, as you can see. You can see the color of the bitterness. It's already removing. So I will save it and wash it. I'm washing it already. 
As you can see, the green bitterness color is not there anymore. The color now is somehow white to tell you that the bitterness is no more there. But I'll still have to wash it a little to remove it very well. Okay. So I'm giving a welcoming kiss to my new followers. All my new followers, Mrs. Ephemia, Mr. Alison, Mrs. Angela, Onyeka, and Rita, watching from London. I'm giving you all a welcoming kiss. Mm -hmm. I welcome you all to my page. Now I've finished watching it and I'll, I'll save it. As you can see, it, I will keep it aside. Here, this is 13 minutes. I will now add my red oil. Okay. Just add enough oil for cooking the soup. Okay. Then I will now cover to cook for 15 minutes before adding my dry fish. This is 15 minutes. I'm adding my dry fish. Okay. You will just stir a little. Just give it a little stir. So it will cook. Give it a little stir. And then you cover for five minutes before adding your other ingredients. Okay. Here is five minutes. I'm adding my blended pepper. I'm adding crayfish and no, I'm adding extra to no cube. Okay, and here comes our Ogurisi, the chairman of the occasion, Isa for Ubo, the main spice of our food, our bitterly soup. I've added it. Mmm, I can perceive the aroma. Mmm, it's already souping. All you that use this uh, ogilis will testify the magic it works in the soup. Bitterly soup or a soup, just leave it for ogilis. Cover it, okay? And here, I'm cutting my bitter leaf. The bitter leaf is long and I don't like the way it's looking in my soup. So I'm giving it a little cut. A little sizable cut, okay? So guys, like my video and comment, share and follow for more videos, okay? So after cutting the bitter leaf, I will set it aside and check my soup. Here, I'm using a pando yam because I couldn't find yam here. At the end of the day, the result is still the same. Whether you use kokoyam or pandoyam, they are all for they are all meant for thickening of the soup. Okay, yeah. So I've added my pandoyam for the thickening. You stir well. You give it a quick stir, and you cover. You cook for fifteen minutes, then you come back. As you can see. Our oh, soup has taken in. You can see it. Oh, very yummy. Our soup is bubbling. Looking very delicious and yummy. So I have to test it. Yeah, so I start to test. No need of adding any salt again. The seasoning is okay for the soup. I'm now adding my bitter leaf soup. My bitter leaf, sorry. Our soup is getting ready. As you can see. So I have added a bit of leaf. I have to give it a stir. I have to stir very well to combine. Stir, 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 stir. <laughs> so just stir it. Give it a quick stir to combine every ingredient you've added in your soup, okay? So after stirring it, you cover for five minutes to boil. Then after five minutes, you see our soup is ready.
very yummy enticing delicious mm. the soup is really soupy okay guys now you've seen the process of cooking the vitalis soup you can try it on your own thank you for watching bye